Yes, today we, you know, yesterday after we, we solved the, we found that there was a significant difference. We went to explain con plant contrast. So today we want to start with post op test. Now, plan, when you find out there's a difference, since there's a difference rather, since ANOVA will not give you where the different lies, you go ahead for a way to know where the different lies. And there are two options. You either use the plan contrast, which we did yesterday, or you use post op test. I think these post op tests are more straightforward and plan contrast and more people use it like me if i all the one i've analyzed is post up test we use we don't actually use plan now this plan and uh, the post up test what does it entail they are pairwise comparison that are designed to compare all different combination of the two no we said that whenever you are com uh, comparing many groups the reason you don't do t test is that uh, you, if, if you pair those groups, you have many tests to carry out. Like for three groups now, if you pair them, you want to do T tests, you have to do three T tests. But when you find out there's a difference with ANOVA, you still have to do something like that because for you to know where the difference lies, you just have to pair them. And that is what post hoc tests does, they do. And the only thing is that. Uh, they have adjusted so that the family-wise error will not come in. That is, it will not be easily significant. They have adjusted. There are some adjustments. So they are used when you are interested in exploring the data for any between group different between means that exist. Then pairwise comparison control the family-wise error by correcting the level of significance for each test so that the overall type one error rate across all comparison remain at 0 0.05. You know, we know that uh, by just doing theory T test, the type one, even though you accept your type one error rate to be 0 0.05, it's automatically increased. But uh, what the post hoc test does is to adjust for it so that you still clear them. So we still go to carry out three tests. That is, uh, group one and group two, group two and group three, group one and group three. So if there are four groups, you see how to see pair them in six ways. But adjustment has made so that it will not be easily significant. That type one error rate will not escalate. There are several ways in which pairwise error can be controlled. The most popular and easier way is to divide by the number of comparisons to ensure that the cumulative type one error is below 0 0.05. So the simplest way to do it, when you carry out the test, you now divide your 0 0.05, your level of significance by the number of tests you are carrying out. And for this one, that uh, we have three groups, like the example we have been using, the example of libido, we have three groups. So if we are to pair them now, we're going to pair them three way. So since we are going to do three tests, three pairs, so you now divide the uh, 0 0.05, your level of significant, by three. So when you divide it, you know what to give you, maybe give you 0 0.016 or 17. So it is when your P value is less, when your P value, is less than 0 0.016 that uh, is significant. So I think that is what uh, Bonferro needed. That is the simplest way. That is the Bonferro method. What he did was, so, though it will not, it, it still adjust. If you see 0 0.05, that will be your level, but it has adjusted. And the way it adjusts that is to divide that level significant by the number of tests carrying out. And you're going to see later that uh, many people criticize him for doing that because they believe that he overcorrects the Bonferroni method overcorrects. So imagine you have to divide, when you divide the level signal by the number of tests you are doing, it's like it makes it so difficult 
to find any significant difference if they exist, if it exists. So he has been criticized. And there are many people that propose method, many methods. In fact, if you are only your data with test cases, there are 18 to sub procedures there. 18. One eight. So you will see. And this 18, I think it's in the next slide. Look at Bonferroni. This is uh, Carlo Bonferroni. He is the person that first of all uh, used a method. And um, if you look at it, that's the first name is here. Bonferroni correction. We also have the least significant difference. The only, yes, then you also have Sheffer's test, Brian Haynes, Gabriel and Walsh. They have different, they, they have F procedure, they have G, Q procedure, Sudan Thais, Newman. There are many of them, Duncan, Turkey. So these 14, the first 14, you assume that there are equal variances, that the variances are the same. Then the other four, if you cannot assume that it's, there are equal variances, you go for the other, any of the other four. So all these ones, they are just eight of 18 options. You can use, and it's only one you use per time. You have result only one. So you can run, um, run with about two to three to see if the result is this out. Eventually, most of the time, the results are not far apart. Apart from the preferring zone, that's a little bit um, less stringent than the other. Just, or is it less stringent or more stringent, rather? To me, it's more stringent than the other. So, this is the hard food. I want us to run it. So, that's part of what we do. Let's run it. Let somebody, uh, let somebody share and run it. Dr. Tayoka, welcome. So, because um, maybe to me now it's only the, maybe prof or and uh, hey, prof, have you resolved the something? Can you Which share? One? share? No, we were talking of your computer yesterday. Oh, you mean me? Yeah. No, I don't have issue with my system. Okay, okay, okay. Let somebody okay. easy. Let somebody share the. The data yesterday, the Abraga, so that we can do the process before we move to the next. I am, I am opening it. I am opening okay. it. Okay, that's I fine. am opening it. Okay, sir. I'm opening it. Um. Okay. So I would like, what I like people to do is so that at least it's part of uh, when you put your hand, rather than me doing everything. So. As well as workshop, I say. What he's saying is he hosts the disabled. Oh, sorry, sorry, I didn't. I'm supposed to. So I've, I've done it. Sorry, I was supposed to allow. Okay. Okay. So, um, Miss Coming Analyze. Up. Okay. Uh -huh. well, it's already there. Analyze, then compare means, then one way and over. One way yes. and over. Yes. Then the dependent and variable the is a uh, so, the the Then the, the factor, factor is those. Is those, yes. Is those. Okay. Yes. So now, now it's a post hoc test. Post hoc yes. test. Huh? Yes. Um, which of them do we take now? Know, choose Bonferroni first. Let's look. Bonferroni. Click on Bonferroni number two. Is number two. Okay. Yeah. okay just I have clicked it. I have clicked it. Okay, well, so just click continue. Click continue, we'll come back later. Okay, only so, both. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay. I don't want the place to be jump I should locate it. Yes, sir. Okay. So, so that you have okay. It, uh, you have okay. So that press have, okay. Yes, yes, sir. Press okay. Okay, okay I've, I've okayed it now. Okay. I've okayed it. Stop now. sharing, it's I okay. share the results. All this one and share the results. I should stop sharing. I should do this. what? Stop sharing this one and share the results. Share the results with us. Okay, okay. The result that is all yes. now. Yes, it's coming up. Yeah, great. We can see if we look at it. 
He first of all give us the first table is the normal ANOVA, the one we have done before. Then the second one is the post hoc test. If we look at what he did, he just to put them, he's sparing them. So because, but what you can, you know, there are three ways to pair, but of course, he's showing us six. It's a repetition where you say A and B and B and A is the same. You know, it's not human beings, computer. I don't think they are human beings. So, what the programming is that a uh, placebo compared with low dose and high dose. Then, the second one, low dose compared with placebo and high dose. The third one, high dose compared with placebo and low dose. You see, when we say placebo and low dose, low dose and placebo, it means the same thing. When you say placebo and high dose, high dose and placebo is the same thing. When you say uh, low dose, high dose, high dose, low dose mean the same thing. So you see, it's three pair beds. It occur in four, uh, so there is double, it's double, each of them double. So you see that this, the sort is similar. The only thing you can see is that uh, the difference will be minus in one, it will be plus in another one because wherever you remove, look at the difference between the, the mean. Whenever you remove the bigger one, if it is the placebo, look at this one. This placebo now, you are removing low dose from me. It will give you minus because the low dose me, the me for low dose is high. But when you now remove low dose from placebo, it gives you plus. Can you see? Minus one, plus one. Minus 2.8, plus 2.8. And so minus 1.8, plus 1.8. So you join all those repetitions. If you look at it, you see the, the significant, the p value. Is the, this significant is the p value. You see, the is the same. Between low dose and placebo, 0 0.845. And the same thing, placebo and low dose. Placebo and low dose, low dose, placebo. The same thing. And you see, between placebo and high dose and high dose, placebo, and you see 0 0.025. The same thing. Between um low dose and high dose and high dose and low dose can you see the same thing 0 0.196 you see that uh, only one is significant that is between placebo and high dose that is 0 0.025 which is the only one that is great uh, less than 0 0.05 so it shows us that the difference only lies between low dose and high dose if you look at between high dose and low dose and placebo, you see the different look at it, it's not significant. Between low dose and high dose also, though it's closer, but the difference be is more, but it's not so significant. It's more than between placebo and low dose. But it's only between placebo and high dose, I see. And if you look at the, look at the mean, the, the confidence interval. So the of the difference, the, what you are seeing here is the diff, look at the difference here. You can choose one either, okay, between yeah. low dose, placebo and high dose now, the difference is 2.8. And this is the confidence interval. Can you see the confidence interval does not include zero. Can you see? So that's one of those things, it's significant, it doesn't include zero from minus 5.27 to minus 3, 0.33. Or let's should use the one that is positive. Because this one, this first one is removing high dose from low dose uh, placebo. But let's look at the one that removes placebo from high dose, which is this one. And you see, the difference is 2.8 and confidence interval is 0 0.33 to 5.27. The confidence interval does not include zero. If you look at this other one, the other three that are not significant, their confidence is that include zero. It will start from minus and end as plus. Look at it. Look at this one. Look at this. Minus, end as plus. Look at this. Minus, end as plus. Minus, end as plus. And you see, minus, end as plus. No, it's this one is significant. This last one. So I think we know how to interpret, because we talk about this interpretation of confidence interval in uh, when we're talking about t-test. I don't know if anybody has questions concerning that. If you 
ask question, I can explain it again. Confidence in the interpretation of confidence. Because confidence in how I say is a method, is inferential method. Quite quite is quite different from hypothesis testing. There are two different inferential methods. Hypothesis testing. Testing hypothesis, that's the one with the hand with p value probability. The confidence interval is separate. But somehow, somehow, they are related. If it's significant with hypothesis, it's going to be significant with confidence interval. After all, the level of uh, confidence and level of significance add up to 100%. If you say you are choosing 0 0.05, which is 5%, the level of confidence is 95%. So, but the only thing why people prefer confidence interval to p value is that it gives more information than the p value. p value just gives you the one information, it just tells you that something is significant or not. That's all. But the confidence interval tells you if it's significant or not, also. In addition to that, it also tells you two things, or two other things. It will give you the difference, like what we have here now. The difference 2.8 or between placebo and high dose. And that gives us a range of value within which we can, with 95% confidence, the, the population value will be in between. At least in the population. Because this 2.8 you are seeing, the, the difference is the difference from your sample, from the study you do. But uh, it cannot be, since you didn't take the whole population may not be exactly what is in the population. But to a certain degree, you can say that, okay, in the population, the real difference is in between certain range, and you are 95% sure. And that is what confidence interval is. Can you see, confidence interval gives the information, it tells you if it's significant or not. It also quantifies the difference. It also tell you, it gives you a range of value within which you can find the population value. That is, those are the three, it's confidence that I give, and the people only give us if it's significant or not. And that's why if you want to publish in Lancet, you don't even want to take the value. You say that uh, p value has no place in medicine. It started with industrial research in the early 90s, where the dichotomized study into significant and not significant. See? So I don't know if there's any question. The only thing I want yeah, to say. Uh, there is a, I, have, I have a question. Okay. Now, this result, this buffering result, how do you present it? Okay, the that's great. Isla, how do you present it? Yes, I, can, I think I can show you a table where I present it. I think I have a result. It's just, it's, okay. It's funny enough, you present the way it is on this table, like this, and uh, you may remove, the people, you can remove standard error. All these sounders will be there. Though, of course, this, the funniest thing that, this, the mean difference, and the confidence interval, they are, that's confidence interval. The, of course, there's, if you look at it, there's no statistic as far. There's no one statistic, say, like say T, P. It only gives you the significance. That's why it still makes sense to present it together. So we will show you both. Okay, after. maybe, maybe, excuse, maybe, don't, excuse, maybe you how you do this. you report it? How do you report it? Okay. You have finished your study. How do you report it when you are you are okay. writing it? In like if I want to say that, okay, I will not say that uh, uh, the the difference. You know, you have already reported that there's significant difference because this is sort of an over also will be there. You have already reported that there's a significant difference in the uh, in the the mean uh, libido of the three groups without knowing where the difference lies. You have already reported that. You now report that. The different lies between the significant different lie between placebo and high dose. You now give the difference. The difference is 2.8. That is the mean difference. And you now put the confidence interval and code the p-value. Okay, let I don't know if we okay, so, so the things you are going to code uh, uh, yes? Yeah? The things you are going to code are mean difference, the yes, significance the and, the, and the confidence interval. Yes, yes, yeah, the mean, mean difference. difference Significance and the confidence, and the confidence interval. interval. Yes. Okay, that's so what I want. Confidence interval of the difference. The confidence interval of the mean difference. That confidence okay. interval. 
it actually go with the mean difference. The mean difference and the confidence interval of the mean difference. Then the, the, the p value. That's okay. just okay. I think let me show you a particular work that uh, I've done before. Okay, for me to ask, it's like a. Okay. Let me just show you the work. Like Yeah, I don't use. Let me share it now. Yes, this is uh, one word I was done before. Okay, maybe it's not the one. Yeah, sorry, it's not the one that has it for so. Sorry, that one is the also. Let me just post up. This is one, Navi. Oh, sorry, this is one. The table is down. If you look at this, can you see? Can everybody see? Can oh. everybody see? Yes. The word document, mm -hmm. I just opened the word document. So, what we did was that uh, this person find there are three groups. So the children group, they are I not see, sir. I yeah. cannot no, see the word. We, we can't see, we can't see. Yeah. But we can only hear your voice. Don't worry. I will reshare it. I think I'll share it. Okay, stop sharing. Anyway, without you stopping sharing, I will. I should stop sharing. I so, stop. Yeah, can, you, can you see now? I, should I stop sharing? Share, stop sharing. Maybe it's your okay. sharing that. Okay, okay I, I've stopped. I've stopped. Can you see we now? See now. Okay, let me do it again. Yes. You can see it now. Can you see it? Yes, yes. Yes. You can see it. Yes. This person did the work. Uh, you look at all these variable weight, height, w, uh, weight circumference, height circumference, abdominal height, uh, the BMI, weight ratio, uh -huh. uh, height ratio, all these uh, anthropometric. And uh, no, it was studies on diabetes and anthropometry. So from the diabetes, so you classify them into, uh, is it diabetes or blood pressure? I think it's blood pressure. Uh, it classify them into BP, uh, BP, it's in BP data that adds something. No, it, okay. It classified them into three, three, three group, look at the, Look at the three group. That is uh, that is it. They classify them for blood pressure at a natal clinic. At natal clinic. Look at the natal clinic. Yes, yes, yes. And see, then I don't know where, but there are three of the three groups. Yes, there are these are the natal clinic and post natal clinic. A N C is at natal. T N C is at post natal clinic, and this one P P high at. Okay, say so BP. Like okay, I don't know what it will be. So those are the three groups. So the one group is one, one, six, eight, twelve. No, it's not. It, the study was not three group. I've been sure. You know the way people just have one group, and now you, you now want to analyze all these anthropometrics based on the three group. So of course, if you look at it, it's only with ANOVA. Look at the hair ratio with one way and over for each of them. Look at the one that has significant weight, weight circumference, height, hip circumference, BMI, and weight, weight hip ratio, weight height ratio rather. So without, since these three are significant, you don't know where the, the different lies. So we now want to do LSD. So we'll come back to that LSD why we use LSD. So you know it's been for running we just did now. We'll go and rerun it 
you use LSD, you will see why people criticize uh, Pofferoni for overcorrecting. So if you look at look at it now, for ice, for weeks, the group, because there are three groups, that's it, group one versus two and three, group two versus one and three, group three versus one and two. Of all that will be repeated, you just put the result the way it comes, comes out. So if you look at it, even though you are seeing six lines, where it's actually three results, because some of them will be repetition. You know, look at it. P value, this P value. When you see one and three and three and one, it means the same thing. Yes, I'm not. Look at the P value. So it shows that the, the different lines between number one and number three, group one and group three. That's why the different lies. So if you look at which sacrifice, the same thing for almost all of them is between group one, just like our own. Okay, except DMI, where there is a difference between one and three, there's a difference between two and three also. So the way sacrifice, they have two, and where the different lies in two, but the rest is between one and three. So if you look at it now, you see. When you see like this one now, number one between one and two, the different minus 4.7. When you come in 4.7, it's the same thing. The confidence interval is this confidence interval between minus 13.4 to 3.9. Here it is minus 3.9 to 13.4. No, what the difference is that here, where it has negative is that because the value of number two is greater than one, you are removing number two from one. That's why I give you negative. When you remove number one from two here, it give you positive. The, if you see the p-value is the same, it's the same. But uh, when you switch, whichever one is correct, but uh, if you just put the positive value, but you will notice something that uh, the confidence interval is from minus 30.4 to 3.9, it's from minus 3.9 to 30.4. If you switch, you switch the confidence interval. But if it's not going to be significant, it will be start from minus and hand at plus. But the one that is going to be significant will either start from minus and hand at minus or start from plus and hand at plus or with plus also. In whichever way, it will not cross zero. That is interpreting the confidence interval. So you just see the different line between group one and three, and the difference is 4.7, and the confidence interval is called the p-value. So there is an example of. Uh, the work done by that. Let's go back. I want okay. us to. You want to have a question, sir? Question? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have a question. Okay. So, and my first question was you know, when you talked about the Bonferroni, his overcorrection, you mm. talked about how it splits the p value in three ways. Because I know how you explained it when you were talking about like for what hap like when, what happens in ANOVA when we're in that one minus zero point five raised to power C. Mm -hmm. You explained it that we understand that one. So like it seems as if this one was different from that one. This Bonferroni ah. overcorrection. So that's my first question. The second one was I want a clarification on the three things that you talked that you mentioned that confidence interval gives. I know you said it gives the difference, it gives the you know, the, the, the range, you know, where the values, the, the, that is the, that value of your sample will lie in the population. But I, was, I can't remember the third thing you mentioned. Thank you. Again, it also tell you if it's positive, if it's significant or not, significant or not. Oh, that's true. Uh, okay, okay. So okay. if it is like for this one, a confidence interval of the difference between me, it will, oh, Bonferroni, it, you said like I want to. Okay, I will finish with the confidence that I should. Let me explain the uh, Let me explain the Bonferroni. Oh. The Bonferroni, oh. he just give you a logic of how he did his correction. Some mathematical thing. What he actually did is to the divide. You make sure that he divide your your p value into three. He did, he use three to divide divide it so that if you, if you are carrying out three tests. If you are carrying out six tests, it will use it will divide it by six to make it more stringent. In that case, you yourself will know that it's good, it's too stringent. So it will overcorrect. Yes, I mean now. So that I want to run it back now. Let's run it again and choose other method with comparing. You see the difference, you see the why it usually overcorrect. 
Okay, you can share again, sir. Let's rerun it. I want to share. share. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, uh, I am. I am rerunning it now. Yes, sir. Can you see it over there? Can yes. you see over there? Yes, yes okay. sir. Okay. So um. Okay. Which of them are we using? So you leave Bonferroni there. Choose LSD. Bonferroni is on. Okay. And you choose LSD. LSD. I am so, on LSD now. She choose Bonferroni. She put Bonferroni there. Oh, okay. 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 Choose game over. Down. Second to the last. Second to the last down. Game no. Second to the last here. Yeah. That's one of those one that uh, if what you use if equal variance. Equal variance assumed. Assumed. Not okay, assumed. Not Assume. Yes. Okay. Click on continue. Okay. Should I? Should I? Okay. 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 Are we done? Yes, sir. Okay. Hello. Yes, I okay. hear you. Okay. I'm okay. done. Okay. So stop sharing and share this. How uh, can you see now? No, so you have to share the result with us. Stop sharing this one and share this. Share the result, sir. Okay. It's on, it's yes, on. Yes, yes. It's on. Slow down, sir. Slow down so that we can see. No, they are plenty. It's okay. Can you see? We still repeated the bufferoni, but we also choose other method. If you look at it, we arrange it the same way. Every other thing, you see, every other thing is the same. But it's the p value. It's the p value that differ among all the different tests. Every other thing is the same. Yeah, every other thing is the same way. The error, we say the error, the difference, where the way they did it, the difference, the confidence, the difference will be the same, but the confidence interval appear to vary, you no, know, between the different tests, the confidence interval. But you will see that um look at Bufferoni, our uh, p-value was 0 0.025. Look at LSD. Least square difference. Look at the LSD 0 0.05, 0 0.08. Compare with 0 0.05, which one is more significant? You can see the LSD is more significant. LSD, yes, yeah, sir. It's more significant because this p value is very small. Then games always have bigger p, p value. I, you can just play that one because after all, that one is for when you cannot assume equal variances. So there's something I did yesterday. We run it to check the homogeneity. You see that they are equal. Variance, variances are the same across the three groups. It the mean that differ. Now, you see that um, LSD compare LSD p value with Bonferroni. You see that if let's say this Bonferroni now is not significant, LSD can see this. Can still be significant. If this p value maybe is just something above 0.05, you will see that the the LSD is, will still be significant, but it's far far lower. You will notice something also. Look at between low dose uh, low dose and high dose, almost significant 0.065 with LSD. And if you remember also, when we did the post up yesterday, the difference between the low dose, you know, if the second contrast was between low dose and high dose, the first contrast, you combine high dose and low dose, you compare it with uh, placebo. That was the first contrast. The second contrast now, we split the high dose and low dose, we now compare the two. So if you remember, the p value for that contrast is 0 0.065. And look at LSD here. Between low dose and high dose, the p value is 0 0.065. Can you see? So, yes. so you can see when they say, you look at if you, that's for LSD. If you go for Bonferroni, uh, Bonferroni is look at the p value. So, so p. Not significant. But this one is almost significant. You want low dose for LSD between low dose and high dose. So they have criticized Bufferoni for overcorrecting. We were doing this in a uh, quarter court one time. 
that he was a PhD student who now said that he was doing a PhD in physiology. He said that in a project, yes, now said, okay, no wonder when she used Benferoni, the professors, you go and use the purified different. The, the professors, you go and use LSD. I see. When you use LSD, you find it different. In the situation where you cannot find different with Bonferroni, you find different with LSD. I think it, that is very clear. Any question on that? We can stop sharing, sir. Uh, uh, okay. The, the, area I have, the area I have question to ask you, sir. Uh, the area that concerns equal variance assumed and equal variance not assumed. Okay. When you say equal variance assumed, does it uh, mean that it's like a parametric test and not parametric? I don't understand. Uh, you are right. You know, one of the, you know, ANOVA is a parametric test. So, and all the requirement assumption for you doing the parametric test supposed to be met. And the two most important that the uh, assumption or requirement uh, normal distribution, the data set must be normally distributed. And the second most important after that first one is homogeneity of variance. That is, the variance should be the same. Okay, let's share again. Let's go and share. We we'll run that thing. We're going to sh I'll show you how you share the variances, how you share the homogeneity. Okay, go to that place. Yes. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, no. My my mouse, my mouse is saying. Is is shaking. Yeah. Yes. No, 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 no. Uh, not is it options? Is it options? No, is it's it other option? option. Yes, other option. Yes, option. Okay. Option. Uh, the homogeneity uh, of variant test number three. Okay. I should leave the screen. Uh, leave it. Leave it. Okay. Leave it. You can click okay, on it. Just read. That okay. descriptive is what it just give you. No, it's click on descriptive also. What it will just give you. I think we did it yesterday. What okay, is, yeah, we did it yesterday, so we can remove it now. We are we explained uh, it yesterday. Just, just for you to give you uh, clean and all those stuff. Yeah, yeah. continue. So you have to stop sharing and share the result with us. Share the result. But this is it. Can you see? Yes, sir. You scroll down. Okay. Scroll down. But it's on top of test for homogeneity of variance. Okay, top. yes. I should still scroll down. I'm coming. It's about to show. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. 11 tests. Can you see? It's on if, top. if you look at it, it's not significant. No, it's okay. Yeah. It's, it's 0 0.913. 0 yeah. So what the computer usually do is that the computer has the software have normally distributed data inside the software. We now compare. No, 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 no. It's not for normally. Sorry, the comparison of the variance of the theory group. So if the variances are significantly different, the p-value will be very low. It will be less than zero point zero five. But now that the p-value is very extremely high, that shows that the variances are the same. The variances are the same. So the requirement is met. So in the situation, if you do this level, so this one is so this one is like equal variance assumed. Exactly. So if okay. your own is like that, you use equal variance assumed. But if this is significant, you may have to if you want to see proceed, you now you can choose equal variance, not not assumed. Yes. Okay, it's clear now. It's clear. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Okay, any other yeah. question? Okay, we'll proceed. Okay, you can stop. I should stop sharing. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, okay. Now, let's quickly go to Factoria Anova. So what we have just discussed and what we have just done. But let me even tell you, even it's one way and over. And just like what Prof said, even that one way and over, to many people, with the post hoc, with the uh, uh, contrast, even post hoc, and nowhere, I look, look advanced to many people. 
So not many people get involved in all this bacteria and other. And it's a matter of time also. Uh, regression will do the same thing. But let's just quickly look at it, what the bacteria design means. No, the example we just used now is one way or one factor and other. And if you look at that example, the only factor there is the, the drug, the Viagra. Either the person receives nothing or low dose or high dose. That is the only factor there. That is why it is one way. The if let's say another factor came in, like for example, you can have another family like race, maybe black and white. She wants to see the difference between black and white. In that case, instead of you having three groups, you are going to have six groups. Because the placebo, you're going to have black and white. You have two groups. The low dose, black and white. And that two groups make it four. The high dose, black and white. And that two groups make six groups. Because there are two factors involved. Dosage and the race. Does it make sense now? So in that case, we call it two factor or two way, two factors or two way and over. You can have more than two factors involved. So it will just be make you to have many groups. Maybe you have three factors involved, and then maybe that factor also uh, is very professional, non professional, or maybe married, non married. And that factor you put in. Two group, so it will make the team, the group to be twelve. No, we have already, it's already by making making use of two factors, and yeah, because one factor has three category, another factor has two category. It has already make it six. If you have another factor that will have two category, it will make everything twelve. So in that case, that is three factors and about three weights. Whenever you have two or more factor involved. It's called Factoria ANOVA. Factoria ANOVA. That's all. And there are different ways the design comes. The Factoria design can be independent Factoria design. In that case, if the two factors are independent, so all the three factors, let's see for the two factors, if they are independent. Now. Those examples I just give, three, six groups will be six different groups. Of people that's all independent. Nobody belongs to two groups. Is if uh, maybe Joe is in group one, he cannot be in any other group. The measurement from Joe is only only one group. All the other group is different group of people. They take measurement. From. That's why independent design. Now you can have repeated measure a situation where you measure something many times. More than two times. No, if it is two times, you measure from the same set of people. We call it pair. And that is pair t test, we do that. But in a situation where you have up to three, but there are three measurements on the same set of people. You know, some people they do study like that. They take measurement every maybe at interval from the same set of people. It's up to three, about four or five, six times. And if they are summarized as me, you can, if you have want to now use T test, that should have to be from first measurement and first second measurement, use T test to pair T test to compare. Second measurement, third measurement, you pair T test. So you are doing many T, t test, pair T test. So that will be family wise. Error. So is I don't know if I use to do it. It's one, one of the factorial ANOVA design. The miss factorial design. Mean factorial combination of independent and repeated is possible. You're like uh, this this issue now. If let's say you have uh, Mary or not Mary get involved in the experiment in this libido experiment, and they now gave the dosage, the, the first of all test each the people when they didn't take anything, they are when they took placebo. They now test after they, they perform, they rate their libido. And maybe after a while, maybe after um, some days, they now give them low dose and now assess their libido. 
Then maybe after that one has worn out, after some days, give them high dose and accept. In that case, the people that receive placebo, low dose, high dose, is the same set of people, not three group. Like the example we have, is the same set of people, if there are five or ten of them, the same set of people that receive later and later. In that case, repeated. But if you see, divide them into marry and not marry. That marry and not marry is independent factor. Why this one is dependent? So in that case, if you have that situation, it's a mid factorial disorder. Are you seeing now? So when you have many independent variables, in the, in, it's a independent factorial. If you have repeated measure, it's repeated measure factorial. If you have the combination of two, it's means design. You see, I go to what example I want to give now. We give illustration only for the independent factorial design. Though the other one they are in the model, when we did it last week, it was a talk of war. And I now say that even I myself have, have uh, overdone this thing because even with one way and over, it's, you know, it's advanced for many people. You hardly see anybody. Yeah, even analyzing doing beyond that one was all. Because nowadays, even if we are having this factorial designer, it's better to solve for regression. We will solve it because it is easier to use regression. And we're going to demonstrate later regression and over the same. You know, the researchers are very intelligent people. In those days, though old days, good old days. The researchers that were interested in um, experimental design use ANOVA a lot because they try to remove confounder from deception, from the design stage. You now have different group. If you have different group, if any factor they think is a confounder, maybe sex is a confounder, and that they now do it separately for male and female. That's with the logic. They now do it separately for the group. They split. The other thing serve as well. They split also. So you have many factors, so that's why poly, uh, some polyblock design, factorial design, because they have many factors. But nowadays, you will regret, but by that time also, the people that were doing observational research, they were using regression to remove confounder as analysis team. So, not knowing that they're actually doing the same thing. So it's a matter of time, the ANOVA will give way to regression. Okay, there's a blend of ANOVA and regression. That is ANCOVA, analysis of covariance. It's a blend between the two. So now we'll look at the theory of factorial ANOVA and I'll use the independent design to explain. Now, the conceptualization is the same as one way. There are some things that are just different. Or we can say just take it further. Now, we still find total sum of squares, just like the way we do for one way and over. You know what one way and over does that? Uh, you look at sum of square, total sum of square, and ask me to the total sum of square due to the fact between is the what we call model. I am you no, know, I was changing this thing before, but the reason they use model and residual here, you see later. You cannot use the wall between and with the dough. It's actually the, the sum of square between is the model. It's actually between. Then the sum of square within is the residual. Somebody, somebody is it more one. Okay, somebody is somebody raising hand? No. Okay, somebody sent this. Good evening, sir. Please, sir. I'm cover is blend of. Okay. Yes, I say I am cover is a blend of ANOVA and regression. So sometimes when you are doing um uh, you are doing your ANOVA, another factor, which is quantitative variable also. Coming, your act, you know your outcome variable is quantitative. Your exposure variable, they are categorical. But there's another outcome, another variable 
that is quantitative, that is serving as confounder to the uh, uh, to the hard comb. So if you include it, that is we uncover. We are not discussing that now. So I think there is a separate. If you if you get the material, you can. If actually, it's actually even the material for that uncover. It is the same liquid you use, you know, to add another factor to it to run the uncover. If you read it, if you get the material from the website, the module for uncover, you can, it's very simple. You can you can understand it. Yeah, we are not discussing that now. Let me continue. So you still find total sum of square and residual sum of square. Um, sum of square within the total sum of square, we break it down into sum of square between. Look at it. Uh, sum of square between and within. The between is the model. The within is the residual, and the word model and residual is more use is is commoner in regression. Model and residual, but they are the same. I will see the reason we use model and residual. I don't want to use between and within because something you will see something will happen later. That if you don't do that, it will, it may confuse people. But between is still the model and residual is within. However, in two way and over, the variance explained by the experiment is made up of not of one experimental manipulation but two. So that is, though don't mind this language because you know the people that were doing and not using ANOVA before they were experimental design, but you can use it for any design, you may use it for observational study. But what he's saying is that uh, that particular this is total sum of square. Let me bring this notation. This is total sum of square. This is sum of square model. If you remember in our one we are over, sum of square between, sum of square we, within. Our when we now calculate the, the variance, we calculate the variance for between, which is the green, calculate the variance for within, which is the purple, we now say. After calculating the half is the variance for between divided by the variance for within. That was the hand. But here, it doesn't end like that because it's not only one factor. You need to split that sum of square model the between into the effect of the those factor if there are two, if there are three. Look at what it does. The sum of square model now, the fair is split into the Variance explained by the first factor, then variance explained by the second factor, which is B. This is A, B, and variance explained by the interaction of both of them. Well, they will interact also. Now, that's what I just explained here. Then we will break the model of square, sum of square, into variance explained by the first independent variable. That will be sum of square A. Then variance explained by the second independent variable, sum of square B. Then variance explained by the interaction of these two variables, that is sum of square A and B. Now, there's an example here. This example is just, let me just show the table. Somebody was trying to look at effect of alcohol among people that go for party in choosing their mate. The mate, the person can be male or female. Of course, a male choose a female, a female choose a male. But they are trying to see how, how does, because many people go for attractive people, wear dress and many that's what people go for a party. Then how does uh, alcohol does it actually have influence on somebody's judgment of how beautiful or um, of choosing mate? So what in this research was done was like uh, there were 48 people. These 48 people, 24 male, 24 female. 
So it uh, the twenty four May or female you give eight no alcohol eight two pint eight four pint for the female you give no alcohol eight of them then eight of them two pint four pint so you have six groups now. so we have a group that didn't take any alcohol female they are eight a group of male that didn't take alcohol they are eight. A group of female that took two pints of alcohol, they are eight. A group of male that took two pints of alcohol, they are eight. Well, four pints of alcohol of female, they are eight. Four pints of alcohol of male, they are eight. Can you see? So there are six groups, each of them, eight, eight, eight. So eight and six, the total is 48. If you look at it now, if let's say it's only male and female, you are not even doing an over because maybe only male and female. Just do titers. Okay, if it is for only alcohol, no alcohol, alcohol, two pint, four pint, you do just one way and over. Then because you cannot do one and another because so if you are to be maybe only alcohol, there will be three groups. And now there are six groups because there is another factor, sex or gender comes in, make it six group. So this is an example of two factors, two way and over. So the scoring you see is the mates these people shoes. They took their picture as some independent judges look at their how beautiful they are, how fire attractive they are, using the scale of one to hundred. That's how they got the score. They forget about the score, how they got the score. Your own as a statistician is for, for you. Any score, you just want to compare the means among the group, just for you to understand how the group they are related. Now you remember what we did in our one way and over. It is still the same thing. We we'll calculate the sum of square. Sorry, I wanted to expand that thing. So I want to move it up because uh -huh, so that I can show. Yeah, you will see, you remember what we did before? You know, each of the six group has their own group name. You can see, each of the six group has their own group name. Can you see? They have their mean. There's a grand mean, total mean. That is, if you add all the 48 together and divide by 48, it gives you the grand mean. So there's a grand mean, then the, each group has its own. We're going to see later also, if you collapse the male, male, female also, all the male have their own mean, all the female have their own If you collapse, you remove the effect of, uh, you want to look at the effect of alcohol, all the alcohol, none, two pint, four pint, they have their own mean. But just look at each of these six groups have their own mean. Now, this column, the way I arrange it now is a little bit different from the way we arrange it now, but you see the same thing. What we did here is that the first, after the, the subject, one to 48, that's the number the subject, the participant. The group is the group they belong to. Group one, group two, group three. No group one is female with no alcohol. Group two is male with no alcohol. Group three is female with two pint. Group four is male with two pint. Group five is female with four pint. Group six is male with four pint. Then these are their the scores that comes with them. Now this after the X now, the first two is looking at the total sum of square. The total sum of square. We are not doing the sum of square with it. This one is the last one. This is total sum of square. The next two will be sum of square between, and this one will be sum of square within, which is the residual. In between is the model. So this total sum of square now, what do you do? You just remove what we did yesterday. You remove the grand mean, which is double bar. If you look at it, it's double bar, bar or bar, at the mean or mean, the grand mean, you remove it from individual value for all the 48. If you do that and square it, which is the sum of square, it gives you the sum of square total. The total, that is the total variability in the whole data. By just removing, Grand mean from each value, 
of square root and sum it together, that will be sum, total sum of square, which is 8,666.672. That's total sum of square. Now, sum of square between the groups now will be between the group. If you know each group has their own mean, then the ground mean is there. How do they differ from the ground mean, each mean of each group? It's by removing ground mean from each group mean. Yeah? If you look, you will recognize that that is the one. Because each group has the same mean. Me, if you say you are in group one now, you want to say the mean. The mean will be the mean for group one. So if you now remove the gram from it, it gives you results. The, the first six giving the same thing. Can you see? Give you the same thing. The next six, that's the next group, give the same thing. The next six, that's the third one, give the same thing. Like that. So in that case, you remove the gram mean from individual group mean and square it. I give you sum of square two. Of course, it's less than the total now because total is the addition of these two. So the last one is the sum of square residual. Oh, it is the one you do by removing each group mean from each value. Remove the mean for group A from the value of group A, group one, up to that for them. When you that's first eight. The second one you remove the mean of the group from each value in that group. That's how you do for all of them. When you square it, it gives you sum of square residual. And the answer there is three thousand four hundred eighty seven point five. If you add these two together, three thousand four hundred eighty seven and five thousand four hundred seventy nine, it will give you the total sum of square, which is. 8,966. I don't know before I move further. If you look at this one, now, it's just the same way we calculated the sum of square for libido. You say even in ANOVA, in a one way ANOVA, it's still the same way for this first step before we move to the next step. Uh, I believe there is no question. If there's a question, let me know concerning this step now. So if you look at it now, that's why I came to quote here the sum of square total. In, in between of square, which is the model, the residual sum of square. Those sum sum, that's what I put here. Any question? So I should proceed, right? Okay, let's proceed. Now, you know what you just know now is to just separate the model from the residual. You split the total sum of square. You split it. No. When we started, you remember I said that uh, for a factoria, you were to be one way and over now. All you need to do is to calculate the mean, uh, the variance for both model and residual, and just divide the model by residual. It gives you the half ratio. That's for one way. But this one has is two way, two factoria. So after you have known the sum of square model now. You want to know, separate it into the effect of the factors. The, the two factors are gender, which is A, and alcohol, which is B. Now, the gender, if you want to know the main effect of gender, you have to now separate them as if alcohol does not exist. Can you see? Irrespective of whether somebody takes two pounds, zero pounds, or four pounds, you just collapse them to male, female. In that case, all of them are 48. You have 24 male, 24 female. That's for main effect of gender. If you want to look at the main effect of uh, alcohol, you forget about either the person is a male or female. You collapse them to the three groups. The alcohol. No alcohol. Two pints and four pints. So the 48 now is divided into three, 16, 16, 16. Why this one is 24, 24? So you can see the mean for you. So this one is forming two groups. Look at the mean for female, mean for male. This one from three groups, mean for no two pine and mean for four pine. So but what you are doing here, you are trying to look at the mean effect. You have already known the total, the model. You already know the 
residual. But what you want to know here is we want to know the fair among in the model. You want to separate the fair, you want to know the fair, the contribution by gender, contribution by alcohol. So when you do that, how do you do that? If you look at it, you know this side is for gender, the first side is for gender, the other side is for alcohol. And if you look at it critically, you will see that uh, what we are removing here is is the model, is the model for that is the portion of the gender in the model. If you look at we are removing the grand meat from the group meat. When we are talking of the group, we are not talking of the group meat of the cis group now, but for the sex now. Gender, we have two groups. We just identify now here. The mean for the two groups. So you stop, you remove the grand mean from the mean. So the first 24 now, when you remove the grand mean from it, it will give you the same value because the first 24 is for female. Then the second 24 will give you the same value. That's for me. When you square it, it give you okay. This one also, I need to drag it off. I don't know this thing so that you can see. Uh -huh. Yes. Can you see? So for gender is 168.751. So the same thing for alcohol. You no, know, there are three groups, 16, 16, 16. You know, each of them have its own mean. You remove the grand mean from each of the mean. When you square it, it gives you 3,332.2924. Now, if you add these two together now, the main effect of alcohol and the main effect of gender is still not up to the sum of square for the, for, for the model, which we have calculated before to be 5,479. No, we calculate it in the you see, if for the model. But in the model, you are trying to see the contribution, gender, Now, if you now want to, whatever, both of them, we had it together, it's not up to. The remaining is due to interaction, both of them. That's why we say this one, main effect, then we have interaction. So, when you remove the main effect of gender and alcohol, Remove from the model, Thomas Square model, it gives you this 1,978.125. That is the interaction effect of both of them. I think that's the, the logic here. Yeah. Now, I don't know, before we move further, I, will, I don't know if you have questions concerning that. We will now talk about how do you now calculate the F for them. Is there any question? I think it's very straightforward. If, this question, let me know at this stage. Okay? Proceed. You will see that um, now, what we just iron out, itemize out at the sum of square for main effect of gender, main effect of alcohol, and interaction. So, if you really know one now, want to know, I know you already know for residual. But uh, if the model we split into this three, the residual we didn't split it. So now for you to calculate your F, F ratio now, because each of them have the F ratio. The, the gender has its own, the alcohol, and the interaction. So for you to calculate the F ratio, you have to first of all calculate the variance. You know what we just analyzed is the sum of square. And the variance is the, we divide the sum of square by the degree of freedom. So, now, for sum of mean square, mean square means variance. You no, know? variance means square division from the mean. So, mean square A, which is for gender now, A is the gender here, for the first factor, is the sum of square for A, for gender, which we have already just calculated, divided by the degree of freedom. There are two categories of the gender, male and female. So, the degree of freedom is 2 minus 1. This is what. Now, that is the answer. That is the variance for gender. The variance for <coughs> alcohol. 
dividing the sum of square b alcohol. You see, that's why I don't want to use between b and that one. That's why I use model for d, so instead of saying between. Because here now, the b here does not mean between. It just mean a, b, group a, group b. So the sum of square b uh, for alcohol divided by the degree of freedom for alcohol. And the degree of freedom, you know there are three groups of the alcohol. No pints, two pints, four pints. So three minus one, making two. So the degree of freedom for the alcohol is two. And when you divide it, get it. Then there are interaction effects. There are interaction effects. How do you do that? There are interaction effects. You know, the, the sum of square which you get by removing these two from the sum of square model, that is the sum of square for interaction effect, divided by the degree of freedom for interaction effect. What is the degree of freedom for gender one? What is the degree of freedom for, for, for hardcore? It's two, two times one. No, the other one is two group gender, two minus one, one. The other one is three group, three minus one, two, two times one, two. That's when you divide it, it Now, this, the, the variance for the re re residual, that is within. So, you know, in the first calculation, we have calculated we have said when we separated the within from the between or from the model. So we have it there, we bring it down, now divide by the degree of freedom. The degree of freedom is 42 because each, there are six groups, each group is eight participants minus one. The degree of freedom is eight minus one. It is seven. Seven times six, 42. That's why the degree of freedom is 42. So, what you have calculated here now is the first one. Let me bring my notation. Is the variance first factor, which is gender in this case. This one, variance for the second factor, which is alcohol in this group. Variance determines where for the interaction effect. And this one is the variance within, which is the residual. So your F. So you want to calculate the F. For main effect of alcohol, and for gender, main effect of gender, alcohol, and the interaction effect. All you need to do is just to divide the each of the variance by the variance within, which is the residual. Can you see? So sum of square, which is uh, mean square, rather. The variance is the mean square for A all over the residual, for group B all over the residual, for interaction effect of A and B over the residual. These are the F ratio. So this first one now for gender, if we check the table for the degree of freedom, for the corresponding degree of freedom, you go to, it's not going to be significant, but it's very low. But if you do it, or if you want to know the degree of freedom for the, for the gender, how do you know? The numerator will be one, because there is only two group, two minus one. The denominator will be what? What well, will be what? It will be 20, 46. It, 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 be is. If it, let's say you want to know the degree of freedom. For me, so it's it, not clear. You are breaking. Huh? You said the numerator. No, no, I didn't, I didn't hear you were breaking. You said the, you, you asked the question. Okay, you will leave that one, sir. Uh, what I was saying, okay, leave that one. You know, if you want to know, you, if you want to go and check this one, you have to use uh, okay. each of them, you divide each of them by the residual. So you're going to, the degree of freedom you go to, when you want to check statistical table, the critical value here will be 1 and 42. You know, the denominator here is 42. 1 and 42, 41. Yes, this yes. Will be 2 and 42. Hmm? This one will be 2 and 42. And this one okay. will be 2 and uh, 42 also. If we go to check critical value, you see that this one is not significant. That group, uh, the first one, but okay, these other okay, two okay. will be significant if we check the critical value. These other two will be significant. So okay. it shows that uh, there's no difference in the scoring between male and female, but there are different no. statistically significant difference in the scoring between the different alcohol level, non 
two point, four point. And there's statistical similar difference based on their interaction of alcohol and, um, and gender. So if you want to run it, these are the steps involved. I think somebody should, so the, somebody should read for us and let's run it. It's bare Google effect. The data set is bare, it's part of the data that I sent to you. Bare Google effect. Somebody should read it, bare Google effect, so that we run it and see the way it feels. Dr. Balogun didn't join today. Maybe it's having so you. I'm opening it. Okay. It takes some time. Okay. Okay. What is it? it? I cannot share. Oh, I'm opening it, but it takes some time. It's, op it's opening. It's opening. Uh, no problem. Uh, Dr. Taiwo. It's opening. Uh, Dr. Shegun. Shegun didn't join. I sent it in to him even yesterday and today. Dr. Taiwo. Uh, yes, you didn't join. Okay. Okay. okay thank you, sir. Okay. okay. So, can I share it now? Share yeah, now, sir. Can I share it? Share, yeah, yes, we are waiting for you. Okay. We are waiting for you to share it. I've shared it, so can I analyze? Wait, we have Actually, not seen it. Can you see? Okay, we just saw it. We just saw can it. you see? We can see now. We can see. Okay, analyze. 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 Then you go to, is it a uh, general linear model? Yes. Then you divide it. Yes. You divide it. Yeah, you have gone through your model, right? Uh, pardon? You have read the model very well. Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah, that's great. So, you now move okay, the, attractiveness the, is the, the dependent, dependent variable is, is attractiveness. The, the That's variable what is attractiveness. Called. Yes. Then you the move other the, one goes to uh, yeah, uh, factors. Is, uh, yes. Factors. Yes. Okay. Yes. Then, okay. Uh, do you want us to run on that thing? I don't want us to it will confuse. Let's just run it okay. now. Oh, uh, okay, so I'm okay with it. Uh, yes, just run it. Uh. So I'm okay. Then you can come and check the contract. So on share okay. and share again. Because if you put all those contrasts in there, it's a it, it module of everything. So share the resource. Okay. Okay, I can see it now. I can see it. I can see. It's on, it's on, yeah. Yeah, we can see that. We have seen it, sir. If you look at okay, it, look, okay. at it. look at the table. So, look at this correct model. This one you see here. If let's say just one, hmm, we didn't, we just assume that all of them are just the six group, are just six group. There's no any factor, uh, you just assume that all of them are just, that's what the research will have given us. Of course, there is a signal difference in the six, that's why the degree of freedom is, can you see, five. Can you see now, because there will be six group. Six minus one will be five. This would be, assuming, it is it just one run as if one way and over, as if they are six group. Now, when you now look at the effect of gender, look at, if you remember, look at the, if you remember, this is fact upon something the model we calculated. Yes, I mean, uh, is the model we calculated. If you remember, the, the sum of square is the sum of square uh, error. Can you see? This, this one they call error. The us is the sum of square error. Is the one we calculated for within. This is between uh, between the model. This is the residual. <laughs> now, the the sum of square for gender, if you remember, this uh, for alcohol, and the effect of can you see interaction of gender and alcohol? Can you see, and look at their degree of freedom. That's how we saw it. Now, if you look at the total degree of freedom is forty eight. Uh, 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 total uh, yeah, degree of freedom is uh, 47 because when you remove 48, remove one from 47 for uh, 47, one from 48 is 47. And if you had degree of freedom for each of them, it give you the same thing: one for gender, two for aqua making three, two for the interaction making five plus 42 
or the error, make it 47. It's equal to the total degree of freedom. Look at the sum of square, the mean square rather. These are the variances, and look at the head. Look at the one we calculated for, can you see, for gender, the same value is not significant. This, this is the value we got for, for interaction and for main effect of alcohol, significant. This is the interaction effect, significant. Does it make sense? Any question? Yes. It makes sense, right? Any question before we proceed? Yeah. No question, no question, right? It's very clear. Ugo, is very clear, right? Ugo, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, that's great. That's great. Okay, let's go back, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Let's go back, sir. I'm trying to put in who's up because when you see that it's different now, huh? where does he lie? Or oh, let's look at contrast. If you want to put in contrast. Contrast. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. I should put the contrast. Yes. 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 Okay. Um. What do I do here? Yes. Yeah. It's 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 a little bit dicey, but uh, what you going yes. to do? You know, for gender, which one need contrast? It's Is not it like the other or? type. Eh? Which one need contrast? Uh, uh, I not clear to me. So gender does not need contrast because the gender are two category. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. okay. Three okay. is the is the alcohol that okay, yeah, is yeah. that need contrast. Yes, the so alcohol, what, wait, 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 wait. With the con gender first, put change. Click on that change. Gender known, just it will move. I will change now. Okay, 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 okay. Don't worry, just leave it. Come to Aqua, click on, okay, wait. Cl uh, click on Aqua now. Uh, I'm on alcohol. Uh -huh. The contrast, click on this arrow behind the, in the front of contrast, noon. Yes, uh -huh. click. Yeah. So let's use, let's use LMAT. You know the way we did it that time. LMAT. LMAT, LMAT. Okay, this one. You remember now, you know we're talking about different type of contrast now. Yes. You know, you know, it was helmet. We you know the helmet we choose uh, is you first of all put um, the number one and compare with two and three. No, number one, the way we call the number one is no pint. Then number two is uh, two, uh, two pint. Number three is four pint. So it's better you could have four pint and two pint and compare with none. That is, you are comparing the people that drink, the people that didn't take anything. When you do that one, the second contrast will now be between the um, the people. You now split the two, two point and four point. That's what the helmet will do. Do you got to be on? Say continue, sir. Yes. Continue. Okay. Do you want let's put on post up also? Post up. Uh -huh. So nice. alcohol. And move both of them, move both of them inside. Uh, okay, that's cool. Okay, just the boat. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, just Is move both of them And just move both of them okay, inside. Okay, okay. Uh, let's then which one are we using? Click, click LSD. Click LSD. Though the contrast also can be done even through click continue. Continue. We are doing only LSD. And just choose okay. LSD. I'm just, I just use that bomb for okay. to yeah, continue. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. Is it okay? Even the contrast, so we can even do, even when we're doing the, uh, under the option, we can do, okay. Okay, so it's on now. And uh, you can share with us, share this off. Yeah, please. Uh, where do we start? This is the Good beginning. Down. Yes, you know, okay. uh, yes. Okay. So that's stop here first. No, just oh, go down because down. you know it will repeat all this thing. Okay. It's the only down we need. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Should I stop here or I should keep? Just going? go down. Go down. For the end. Is the contrast? Okay, no, is the contrast. Is the yeah, yeah. No, let's look at the contrast. Where is contrast now? Okay. No, I saw uh, it now. I saw it. 
as it will scroll Let down. Let me go to the beginning and talk. No, 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 it's not in the beginning. You cannot be in the beginning. Just scroll down. It's not in the beginning. This is the end. I call absorption. Okay, yeah, yeah. This is uh, this is the contract. Uh, this is the contract, and the end is the yes. This is the contract. This is the contract. This is the contract. Uh, can you see the contract now? The way it, uh, we do it. If you look at the first one, can you see no aqua compared with two pan and four pan? Can you see? Can you see? Because these two pan and four they are together in one. Yes, I'm not. As if he's doing two tests, T tests. So look at the uh, significant. Look at look at the look at it. Look at the value here. Look at the significance zero point zero this. You can you see now? Now the two point no, no, this is LSD. This is not LSD. this is LSD this now. Is look at okay. so. Um, and there's no the contract is not okay. there. Okay, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Maybe the contract is at the end. Contrast. Okay, between this and this one is a test between oh. subject dependent. No, Post the end will be there. I'm coming. Okay, that means it did not take the contrast. So how? How? Uh, what? What I'm is the relation here? Right between. Okay. Okay, screw up small. I think maybe the contract is the first one. Okay, we'll go back and rerun it. Don't worry, we'll go back and rerun it. Okay, okay. We'll back and run. But let me explain the LSD. Let me explain the post up. Uh -huh. Look at the post up. You can see now, we hold uh, this. You can see that the difference also is between no point and four point. And also between two point and four point, can you see the different yes. light in two places? No point and four point and two point. Also. So between no point and two point, there's no different. There's no more different. Can you see now? I think we should not have a problem with interpreting the no. result now. Does it make sense? Yes. Okay. Now, excuse me, sir. Okay, sir. Please, sir. Now, can we look at um, now we have difference between four pints, no alcohol, and four pints and two pints. Mm. Uh, would it make sense to now look at uh, the confidence interval, the, the determine which of the two uh, has greater difference than the other kind of. And of course, even the p-value, even the value of the difference there. If you look at it now, the the difference, the difference between uh, no alcohol and four point is seventeen point one nine. While the difference between uh, two four and four point is eighty point three. So if you look at it as if the eighteen point three, the difference is more between two point and. Okay, sir. It's true that the difference is more between two points. Our, but why can the difference be more between two points and uh, four points? Okay, I think it's due to some other factors. If you look at it, we will expect the difference to be more between, well, unless you go and check the value, the value itself. No, I think the, the, the value of the, of the, the mean, no, the, the, the mean. Because he, what this one is telling tell us is saying that uh, the difference between no pan and four pan is 70.919. And uh, look, there is, is significant. But the difference between two pan and four pan is 18.13. He's telling us that the difference in the scoring between four pan and, and uh, two pan is higher. I think the, you know, this one does not show the effect of uh, gender in here. Okay, let's go back. Why this? I don't know why the, this is you know. I should stop sharing and go to contract. Uh, uh, hello, sir. Yeah, hello, sir. I actually think so because minus 17.179 is higher than minus 18.13. So, anyway, so the, four the, pints no, and no alcohol. No, no, no. The, that was just a matter of minus. You look at the, what of 17.19 and 18.13. 
It's actually the absolute value you look at because the sign is just a matter of which one did you remove. If you remove the, you try to minor the figure from the small, like give me any negative sign. It's the absolute value you look at, sir. Okay, so let's Thank go you. back. Mm, let's go back. Let's go back to. Okay, anyway, maybe the way, just wait, just wait, just wait. Let me share the step for running is there. Okay, just wait. Can I stop sharing? And just wait, wait. Have, you see what I'm sharing, right? I can't see you. Ah, okay. My, I need to stop sharing. Stop sharing, stop sharing. Say, yeah, stop sharing. Okay. Yeah. Yes, this is the step we're going to use to run it. If you want to do the contrast, this is how we put it. The, okay, did I even do plot? I was going to do, do plot now, okay? Okay, options. Okay, the, because I generated the result here, that contrast we are looking at. Okay, I even put 11 tests. I think there is a table for, okay, the, the table con contrast is here. Okay, let's run it. Let's run, let's run it. Because I have another time. Let's run it. Okay, go on. Go back. Okay, so contrast. Uh, wait, uh, yeah. Okay. So, alcohol. Yeah, it's alcohol. Yeah, it's alcohol. We don't. We are not doing contrast for that one. I think. Okay, so, uh, which one can we take here? Is, is it, it the same helmet? Wait, uh, wait. In my this is is it the same uh, Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay. Yes, that is, I think that's where, what did I put, uh, I'm coming. Let me just wait. Let me check. I think it's the, something, it's not, it's the, it's the ML we choose that uh, cause the problem. That cause the problem. Just wait, um, just wait. Let me, let me wait. Let me check my. Let me check. So that you know the right one. Okay, it's the elements, it's elements, it's elements. Okay, so I, I'm going on. Okay, yeah, it's only in the contrast, it's only aqua, you move into the contrast now. Okay, no problem. Just share, share, let's let's see. I should continue. Yes, continue. Should I continue? Yes, share. And let's continue. Okay. So should I okay it? No, share, share, let's see what you are doing. Share, share, share. Let, share me, let, me, let me start again. Let me start again. Let me start again. Let me start again. You are not seeing what you are doing. You need to share what you are doing. We have seen it. Eh, you have seen Can it. Can you see? I wasn't seeing okay. it. Okay. Okay, so it. analyze. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Then uh, uh, contrast. Just, then yeah. we are using alcohol. Oh. Yes. Alcohol, then we are using helmet. Okay, yes. so should I continue now? Oh, yes. no, you are not done. Okay, that's the problem. You didn't click on change. Helmet change, it didn't change. It will write helmet up. That was, look at it now. Okay, you okay, did, okay. That, that was not what the problem. Yes. That was what you didn't okay. do. Yes. Okay, I was so wondering. Continue. 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 Then, okay. Yes. They don't feel okay. Don't do okay. Do it. Ah, I've already done it. Okay, don't worry. Show the results. On share and share the results. I wanted to go back to the. Share the results. Um, okay, let's, let's go this down. Is, uh, this is. The, this yeah. is the last final part of it. This is and I'm going up. Um, which one is this source difference? It, it, wait, um, that, that is it. This is contrast. This is the contrast. That this is, is the contrast. contrast. Yes, yes, that is the contrast. You see now the way he, do, he does it. 
level one verse later later that is that number one which is no pint and verse or two pint and three pint and four pint that's what he did there so now if you look at it can you see that it's significant can we see that it's significant yeah, zero point zero zero. Yeah, uh, if you want zero, to know the value six. of this, uh, contact, you go. You know, if you know that, uh, if you remember, that number two, there were L mass. That no, that would be minus two. The value of uh, no prime would be minus two. If you want to estimate the contact, you remember the way we estimated the contact. Yeah? But uh, well, the most important thing you should note here is it, you can just see. So that shows that there's a significant difference between people that took no alcohol and people that took aqua, even though we combined it. So the second contrast now, we now look at two pine and four pine, level two and level three, two pine and four pine. So, and uh, if you look at it, it's significant also. So there's a significant difference between two pine and four pine. Of course you expect, because if you look at it, the significant is more here, because the reason is very simple. Here, there's the dilution. No, of three and uh, pine two, two pine and four pine. The year we are looking at the difference between the two pine and the four pine. Yeah, and you can see the difference. You can see the difference, and you can see the difference here also. Now, I think we are. That's all. They I want us to that uh, post up. I want you to go back there. We can get the post up also even through options. Let's go back again. No, you can assess it through that your result. Now you can even go and analyze through your result. You can assess it through your result. Okay. Mm. Okay, go. Okay. Go back. Let go me, back. Let me go analyze. to Windows. Huh? Don't worry. Don't no, just analyze. Analyze. Go to analyze. Okay. See, go back there. So post go to option, 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 option. Okay, plot. Click, click on plot. Click on plot first. Plot. We want to look at their interaction effects. Uh -huh. Move alcohol first. So the horizontal. Yes. Move uh, uh, gender. So we shall. Uh, move uh, uh, gender to this way, separate line. Okay, wait, wait. Move, add, add, add alcohol first. Wait, add alcohol, add. Had. I should okay. Let me go. Had let alcohol, me go had. Mm. No, I, alcohol. There, uh -huh. I should move the alcohol to the horizontal. Ah. Wait, 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 wait. What happened here? Uh, what happened? Okay, okay. I'm back. Uh huh. Move alcohol to, to the horizontal. horizontal. Uh huh. Uh, wait, then wait, what wait, enters? Wait, wait. Hard. Click on hard. Uh -huh. Move gender to horizontal. Add, add. Don't. Then move aqua again to the horizontal. Move gender to the separate line. Gender, gender. Add. That's their interaction. Can you see now? Not in their interaction. And there's a place okay, we, I... we don't continue. It's like you would like to continue on that. <laughs> the type of, uh... Okay. Uh, continue. I want to see where you've seen the type of. Uh... Okay, continue. Yes, continue. No, wait, wait, wait. You know what? I probably continue. Then. No, 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 no worry. Don't. Click on that pl uh, plot again. I want. I don't want line graph because it's by default. It's line graph. We go to B. Click on that alcohol. The first alcohol. The first alcohol. The down, down, down. Click on okay. it. Okay. Under the plot. Under the plot. Uh, yeah, it's under the plot. Click on it. Okay. Uh -huh. she, uh, okay. It's not. It's, it's not. Okay. Let's just continue because. I was there's a place you can change the something. Okay, continue. That's your continue. Okay. Uh, yes, it's bad that I won. Uh, hope you don't go and plot uh, this. Is. Okay, okay. Go to options. Those are many things you can 
<coughs> okay, move, move the, them in, move gender, uh, this and everything, move them to display me. Yeah. What are this overall? And just overall, I should leave. Okay, okay. Just leave it overall. Okay, click on it. Yeah, I don't even know what it will. Click on let's see what it will give us. I should know as you can call, call move, move the overall now. Move, let's see what it will give us. Maybe put overall there. Compare main effects. Click on compare main effects. Uh, which of them do you go to? And uh, this is where you can do. Uh, Okay, you can click on see that. Let's see, see that. This where I was coming here was that you can actually even do the uh, what the do contrast. I call it? No, post up here. Under option. Okay, post up. Rather, okay. Yeah. rather than clicking yes, okay. the other one yes. You can click on descriptive. Descriptive. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, there are too many things, so that yeah, continue. I'm going to give you two so minutes. That okay? Yes. So that okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, share. Stop, uh, share with us now. I've done it. So let me go to the beginning. There are many things here. Okay, yes, now, these so are the old ones we have done before. Uh, yes. These are the old ones we have done before. Let's go down. Uh, very Alcohol good. consumption. Have we done this one? Okay. Yes. Uh, test test of between statistics effect. Have we have we seen it? No, we have even Alcohol seen consumption that. again. Uh, Post up first. Should I stop here? Just go down. I should I go, want down. To see, go down. I want to see the plot. Okay. Call. Okay. Go down. We have seen uh, this. What of this? We have seen this one. Go on. Where are the plots? Okay. Uh, wait. It, it should be down, down. It should be wait, down, wait, down. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, you just giving the mean or each of them. Yeah, go on, go on, go on, go down. We have not seen this, but if I let me go to the plot first. So this has a plot. Uh -huh. so this, let me put it the to, I want I actually wanted the so this is one of the plots and then this is another one. Uh, it's by and this is for this is, the, this is the last one. This uh, is the, last the interaction, one. interaction effect of gender. If you look at the the gender cross that if you look at it, what is just showing us that if it's if this is bad shot now, it will be clear. You will see that um, for this for what do I call it? For green is for female, right? And blue is for male. Can you see? And yes. no pint. Can you see no pint? You will see that the male when under no pint when they didn't take alcohol, the sperm the male is common than female. When they took two two pint, the male still score more than female. But when they are taking four pint, can you see the the the, the, the yeah. effect of the alcohol affected the male? The male scored far far low. Though the yeah, female the scored low also under the influence of alcohol, but the male scored lower. So it shows that uh, the sex interaction effect now between the alcohol and the and the gender now is that uh, the male are affected more by alcohol yeah. than female. Does it make sense? Yes. But I would have loved for us to go back and plot because it, okay, let me show on share on this thing. On on on, um, on share. Stop stop sharing. I should stop sharing. Mm. Okay. Because if I show you, I thought I have, maybe I should run it. Where is the problem? Where is he? I'm with, no, I'm with people. Hello? Hello? No, it's not. It's not this one. Mm. I'm coming. Somebody is tired. 
Is somebody tired there? Yeah? Okay. I'll stop. Sorry. I want to share my own slides. I think I've. Can you see what I share now? Hello? No. Okay, yeah, we have seen now. Yes, we you, have seen. Uh, you know, you know, you brought this one out. You brought this one out. But this is a graph. Actually, instead of line graph, I wanted you to change to but It's the same. If you look at it, what the under the interaction, if you remember, this is the one you showed last. Can you see now? Yes. You may you just that uh, you just put um what do I call it? Error bar. Just put error bar in this one. So if you look at it, you see that um Okay, anyway, I plotted in different time. It's not as if it's the same time. That's what if you want to go back now with the plot, you can plot with and show bar chart. Look at the bar. From the bar now, you will see that um, the may look at the no point, point, two point, four point. There's no difference between no point and two point. And we have already seen that also. Yes, I mean, we already seen that there's no difference between no point and two point. But the word differ more is the include that due to four point. Then if you look at this, the main effect of uh, alcohol. The main effect of gender, if you can see now, the female score lower than the male. Can you see? And the difference is not significant. We already if you look at it, the difference is not much. When we look at their interaction now, can you see? For no point, we already said that the red is the female. Female score lower when there's no uh, alcohol. Female score lower than male. When there are two points, female still call, score lower. But when there are four points, male drastically reduce in this point. It's the same thing. If you look at this this one and this one is the same. This is by sharp, this is line. Is there any question concerning this? Any question? Hugo, I don't like it when people are very cold though. No, there's no question. Yeah. <laughs> no, all of them anyway, all of them were here last week. Oh. It's, only, it's only you and Prof that were not here. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, yes. Okay. When Dr. Taiwo they were around. It's only Prof that was not around. It's only you and Prof that was not around. That's okay. any question? Prof, any question? Uh, uh, I think it's clear, sir. It's clear, yeah. sir, because you know the last time I kept on asking you plenty of questions. So oh. <laughs> you were asked questions, you explained oh, yeah. it very well to yes. how that's to okay. it. Uh, so everybody I has... guess that's what you have. Okay, uh, that's fine. That's great. Questions. That is great. Mm -hmm. So maybe as usual, let me just quickly before we end, but tomorrow we'll be looking at the non-parametric counterparts. But before we stop today, I want us to just have a feel. Though we can run into because I have provision for it better. I just feel they are too extra vegan. They are too extra vegan. The, so we just finished. Uh, let's quickly look at the repeated measure, the way it works. The repeated measure and over. Now, the, we may not run it because uh, I just last when we did it last week also I decided that we though it's there in the module and it's in this slide we I made provision to another feel that uh, if you continue running it what will happen is that uh, you will tend to forget the the most important thing the what we have learned that's why I don't want us but I just want us to go through and look at the logic behind it so when we have factorial repeated measure and over. Factorial repeated measure arises employed when there are several independent variables but the same participant. I've already said it. When, uh, when you take measurement from the same people over and over, 
In order for it to be applied to a set of data, assumption of sphericity must be made. Must be made in addition to assumption that are required in one way or another. You know the assumptions that are required in one way or another are those for using parametric tests. You know, we talk about normal distribution and homogeneity of the energy. But in, in addition to that, whenever you are having repeated measure, you have there is what we call sphericity. And what does it mean? The sphericity just means it's another way for circularity. That is, in between, you know, we take measurement in between the two groups. You know, the first measurement, the second measurement, the third measurement on the same group. You know, for homogeneity of variance, you have to see the variances are they display the same among the independent group. But this one, they are not independent group because it's the same group. But in between, what is the difference? The difference in the measurement between before, before and the uh, after. That is each measurement for each participant. What is the difference between this, the first and the second? Then the difference between the second and the third. The difference between the third and the fourth. And the difference between the first and the third also. So the variances of the difference should be the same, should be constant. That's what we call sphericity or circularity. Sphericity, or also known as circularity, refers to the equality of variance of difference between experimental levels, between levels. If you were to take each pair of the level and calculate the difference between the each pair of score, then it is necessary that the difference have approximately equal variance. That's what is showing on this table. Group, look at for this in group A, group B, C, now, this measurement before, after, there are another one. So the difference between this measurement A and B is not the amino. If you remember when we do independent t-test and pair t-test, for independent t-test, we say that what we compare is the mean, the different, the two means. What is the difference between the two means? But for the pair t-test, what is the mean of the difference? For each of the observed person, participant, you remove the measurement before and after, you look at the difference for each patient and calculate the mean of that one. Can you see? So, for independent group, it's the difference between group, the mean. But for dependent group, is the mean of the difference between the two. I don't know if you, because is it clear? Is it, can you do the difference between mean of the difference and the difference between means? I, I, I don't know if people understand, because you need the concept to, to you need to understand the concept. Once you don't understand, you you miss it. I don't know if anybody who go. You understand the it's difference between different between means and means of the different. Mean of the different. So, so the mean of the difference is that one the one for the dependent. And you didn't understand it, then that's why I'm asking because I know that it's basically no, 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 I don't understand. It wasn't clear. Uh, and that was what I was asking. Who understand? Maybe somebody should explain. Let's make it more interactive. So were you able to wait to why so you know I loaded it? Were you able to watch the yesterday's home episode? Nobody check, right? I received the email, but I've not I have not checked. It was it the material. I looked through the material, not the video. And the video, because I sent the video of yesterday. I mailed okay. it. Mm. It's easier. Even it's even uh, cutting about close to three hours, close to three hours, close to three hours video. So you know what I do now is so I upload it into YouTube, then and I'll share with you your email. You can now get it. Like it's only those who like for workshop with video. Like it's only those who I share with that can, that can have as a yes. On like the one they can get on my website. Yeah. Is the other one is the lecture video. I don't know if I even go to see. Hello, I can't hear you. Hello, hello. Can somebody hear me? Can somebody hear me? I can hear you. The Ugo is like he's having problem with her uh, head. We can hear you. Her network is breaking. Uh, yes. 
Maybe he's talking. He, he should think we are hearing now. Please, I've not seen the yesterday's video. Uh, no, I sent to you. I sent to your mail now. I link it to your mail. Yes. You didn't see it, bro. Um, I will need the water. Hello, it's your Gmail. And look at your Gmail. It's in, it, I sent to the mail. It's a link for me. Well, just click on it on your mail. You open it on YouTube. Oh, okay. I, I'll check again. I'll check again. Okay. Okay. We'll go. Okay, we'll go south. And she was having problem. She was having a problem with the with the network. I think let me just continue. Join us. So we understand the diff we we can differentiate between mean of the different and different between means. I think we can differentiate, right? Can I continue? Yes. Okay. That's great. Continue. Okay, sir. Now, so this very, the, therefore, the, we need at least three conditions, of course, for you to talk about sphericity, sphericity, mm. sphericity, you need to, you must have at least three measurement at least of course if it's even two measurement you can be talking of uh, ANOVA unless if it is a misdesign if it's two measurement unless it's a misdesign you just talk about PRT test so here now you must have at least three look at for example now look at A B C A minus B A minus C B minus C so the difference between A and B you know B and C is A and C so you look at, you pair them and look at the difference from every angle. Now, the variance of the difference should not be much. No, that's felicity. So the variance of the difference, uh, you look at it, variance of A minus B must be approximately equal to variance of A minus C, approximately equal to variance of B minus C. That is what this felicity is all about. Now, Know that when some pairs of variance are equal, why some are not equal? The data are said to be to have local circularity. The sphericity is done by using Macaulay test. Just leave that one. There are two different F factors that can be used to assess treatment comparison. They are F5, some of the I don't know, say the F5 and double five. Then the one that is being used most is the F ratio that is being used with the F5, the first one, derived from mean square of the comparison in question and the specific error time for the comparison of interest. This is F ratio normally used. The other one is derived from total error mean square for all repeated measure comparison. So the second one is value overall. For the second one to be valid, that was the overall sphericity must hold. The whole data set must be spherical. Therefore, F5, the first one to be valid, sphericity must hold for the specific comparison in question. So that one is the statistic generally used, and the effect of validating sphericity is a loss of power. F ratio that simply cannot be compared to tabulated value F ratio. Just like uh, whenever the conditions are not met, there will be loss of power. So just like what all happened with any other um, um, uh, parametry test. Now this one just for your own concern, available available option if assumption of felicity is not is violated. You know, it's just like uh, if something is not normally distributed, you cannot use parametry test. What do you do? It's the same thing here. So it's only this felicity is in addition to parametric. Because the test also you are doing is for ANOVA is parametric. But for you to do this repeated measure of ANOVA, and apart from meeting the requirement for using parametric test, this requirement for felicity must be, you know, must be met. But if they are not met, these are the options. I don't want you to bother yourself. This is where I actually want you to see. No, 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 just I want you to see something here. The theory of one-way repeated measure ANOVA. 
in repeated mention over the model and residual sum of square are both part of the within participant there. Can you see the reason I didn't want to reuse that model? We refuse to use between again. Can you see? In independent is in one way and over or independent and over that is not repeated measure. Hello. In, in, independent factorial, you will see that the, the effect, what you are studying, the, 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 the okay. is mean. What you are studying, the effect, the variability you are studying, you are comparing with between and within, you are talking of the effect of your experiment or whatever you are doing is outside the between, between participants, is within participants. Can you see now? If you remember the other time, those factors, they are under between this green for independent, for ANOVA, for one way ANOVA and independent factory ANOVA, those, the factors, they are under the between. But now, for repeated measure, is under this participant. I'm, I know that. Does that one raise question? The reason if you look at the example, let, let look this is an example. These these are different food they give to some celebrity to eat, about eight celebrity. They give them all of them eat stick insect later. So when they eat stick insect, they calculated the time, they the reach, you know, try to as if they want to vomit. They calculated in second. How many seconds they do as if they want to? They, after that, after that one has well done, they give them another food to eat, all of them, kangaroo testes. They calculated the time. Later, after that one has well done, they give them fish eye. After that one, they give them lava, which which, which ethic crop is lava. So, you know, those are strange food. They try to calculate how many seconds each of them try to write. If you look at it, all these things is within this eight, seven, one, six, they are be within one person. So if you are looking at within, you move horizontally, it's within one person. But between is the vertical. So you can see now, on, on two ways, those two ways, you start to calculate the mean of this time here. Eight plus seven plus one plus six, you calculate the mean and the variance. You calculate the mean of the four, this is it. You do it for all of them. But if you look, down a plus nine plus six you calculate the mean also so there are two sets of mean here we have the mean that look at vertical 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 mean we have horizontal mean the vertical mean are the between what happened between participants because they are different between one two three four but the horizontal is what happened within i don't know if you are yes, yes, is there any question clear. It's clear. it's clear. So the horizontal is what happened within, while the vertical is what happened between. Does it make sense now? So the, the, the this thing you are looking at the effect of different drugs, is it between? It's not between, it's within. Because if you look at between, is all of them, all of them eat the same uh, the same insect, the, the same food. So if you want to look at the effect of this different food on them, you have to calculate the one within. And that is why the yes, experiment, that is why that is like that. Is the within participant look at the effect of what you are doing and the error duration. I don't know if it's very clear. Now. So if you do the sum of square, so in doing the sum of square now, you have to first of all do within and with the, uh, between. So when you do it, like that, when you do for horizontal, vertical, so you look at, if you look at this one now, okay, another thing, sorry. Another thing is that uh, I want you to know that apart from that, there is grand mean, there is grand vein, all of that, if you add everything together and divided by the total, no, the total scenarios here. Even though the total people is a, a, a scenario is a times four, which is thirty-two. Uh, thirty-two scenarios. 
Yes, I mean now. So in calculating the Grammy, it's adding everything together divided by 32. That is in calcul if you look at it now, look at it. One is 32. So now this one is looking at the Grammy minus this is the first one and the Grammy minus individual value. Yes, I mean now. Then this one is looking at the Grammy, the middle one, the Grammy, and the horizontal mean, mean within. Yes, I mean now. Then this one is looking at the, the Grammy and individual value. No, the group mean and individual value. And when you come here also, you do the same thing for that first one is for horizontal. But this one is for the the vertical. So when you now do it now, sum of square, the total sum of square, 25.3, uh, the total sum of fair square is 25, 253. The modest sum of square is 83. That's the within. Then between participants sum of square, just check what we are saying now. 83. Look at it. You look at the first one. Can you see? No, I told you that this first one, what you do here is to remove the grand mean from the, the mean within mean. Within mean, that is the horizontal mean, because that horizontal mean is within each participant. So that is, and the total sum of square is this. The sum of square within is this, and which is the model, and the sum of square residual. Now, this one, if you look at it, the total sum of square is still the same for the if we will share we do it. But this is sum of square between between participants. This is the residual. Now, between participants sum of square, within participants sum of square. Now, residual sum of square. Will be this minus this sum of square within minus model. Can you see? It give you 153.284. So the mean square ratio. Now, here now the mean square, when we say mean square, is variance, mean square for the model. 83.2 divided by the degree of freedom. What is the degree of freedom? You know there are four. The default food they give them. Four minus one. That's why the degree of freedom is three. Then residual sum of square. This. The residual sum of square we calculated here. You now calculate the mean square the, uh, for the residual. Divide this by this. Why is it 21? Why is this 21? So I'm lost so I, in this area. Sorry, I can't even yeah, answer because I my internet was unstable. Your internet was unstable. No, my my internet was unstable. So I like I missed the like a whole lot of this part. Okay. So I might not be able to answer. I wasn't even seeing your screen. So yeah, yeah. To, you can you cannot see now. Internet. You cannot see now. No, actually, you know I told you. This one, yeah, I just yeah. felt that it's over syllabus. You yes, I mean, I felt this over syllabus. If you cannot even get it completely, but no yes. problem. But there's something I want you to get there. And the reason, you know, if you look at it, there's T2. You know, in the factorial, there is independent, there is Peter Man and Miss. So I've, I will even, I even thought of it, I will have even removed that Miss and repeated measure. Just do the, just do the one way and over. The independent factorial number, the one we did yesterday and today, it's okay. If you remember last week also, we didn't run this one, I was just explaining it. I felt but that's that I was even interested because we didn't do this one, but you were you seem to have been explaining it well. So, yes. but my just... so the, the logic go. Well, the just... first thing I wanted to ask was you were trying to explain, you were asking me a question that what's the difference between means 
Okay. Me no. Why you, why you didn't explain. correct it? When I asked everybody, the, they were okay, and uh, we just forgot about that. Okay, okay. What's the difference? You cannot get the difference. I was not. Uh, hmm? Okay. No, you I, said means of. I was trying to get your explanation for that one. Yes. Yes. I said different when you are having two independent group or three when you are having independent group. Independent group means those groups are different people you took measurement from. Hmm? The people yes, in group I, A that different from group B are different from group C or whatever. Those are independent groups. So when you are trying to compare the mean yes. between the group, they are between they are different between mean because you calculate their mean, you can see not like the way we do for the Viagra, the libido, you can see that the mean for group one is different from the mean for group two different from the mean for group three. Mm -hmm. So we, we are looking because yes, they are sir, independent, they are different between me. But when it is repeated measure, it's the same people that you take to do that thing. I give an example now that imagine yes, if that issue of the video, it was not independent, if it's a repeated measure, it's the same people they will give placebo, yes, later they will come and give low dose, later they will come and give high dose. In that case, okay. you are you have to are compare. It's not the mean, or you know, you have mean for each of the measurement. Though, then that's not what you are comparing. What you are comparing is that what you do that is in between number one and one, you remove. In between number one and three, you remove. You find the difference between the first measurement and the second measurement for each person, and now calculate the mean. That's what we call mean of the difference. So we said it in a, okay, okay, in, a, okay, in a peer t test also. In peer t test, is a mean of the difference. It's not different between me. Independent t test, there are two me. We are looking at the difference between between the two me. But for peer t test, for those who that you take their measure to the for each subject, you remove one from the other. You find the difference before you now calculate the mean of the difference. Does it make sense now? Does it make sense? Okay. Yes, I do. I understand that part. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Very well. So now to go to the explanation. Now you you showed a lot of tables. Where you, you there was a, I heard something about horizontal, vertical. Because I wasn't seeing okay, the screen. I will my network. I will just explain that one again. I will close because uh, I fear, even I myself. I had a feeling that. Uh, Sorry, sir. you wanted to explain why the degrees of freedom is 21. Okay, let me uh, start again. Well, I will not explain that one. Because he did it, she didn't get it from the table here. Are we together? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Okay, let's look at. Uh, let's look at uh, uh, this. If you look at these people, there are eight people. Yes, sir. There are eight people. Let me annotation. These eight people is the same eight people that has insect oh. and yeah. has kangaroo at different times yeah. and has fish yeah. die, and has lava. This which crop is lava. Yes, sir. I don't know, you know that people eat lava. You don't know. I know, yeah, I, I know that it's possible because the oh, what is what? this even where our place like we, we eat the lava of uh, this thing. We eat it. Yes. They are different types. So now this the measurement they took is the time they range after they hit the food. So they take the measurement. So the this the number one now is called eight here, yeah, it's called seven here, yeah, one here, yeah, six here. Yeah. If you look at all this one, two, three, four, is within group. That is the same set of people. The same. If number one is unique, number two is Joseph, number three is Catherine. This one, the same set of people that took this, took this, took this, took this. Does it make sense now? Yeah. So that's what I call it repeated measure. It's not as if there are four different sets of people. Yes. The same set of people that that is repeated measure. In that case. There are two dimensions to the data set. Of course, you can't see, they see differ between both of them because number one differ from number two, number two differ. So, but when you are looking at 
moving horizontally is the same because it's the same person that score eight, score seven, score one, score six here. So when you have eight plus seven plus one plus six, you divide by uh, four, you calculate the mean or the value here. Is this is within within the person? You get the picture now. Yes, sir. With, that is within participant. But if you try to, so you put for each of them. So <clears throat> this 5.59 is, is the mean times a range by this person on four occasions. Then this one, the second one, is the mean time. On those four occasions, the average time is the range for this second person. So, so down like that. But if you try to add it horizontally and calculate the mean, you are for this tick inset. You are looking at every time all of them spend in reaching for insects. I don't know if you understand that. So Vertically yes, is between. Yes. Horizontally is within. Have you asked, uh, uh, have you, uh, uh, you've understood that now? Yes, sir. It's, I totally understand that part because horizontal, yes, I understood it, yeah, because vertical, yeah. different people. Yeah. Horizontally, the same. Exactly. So we have two yes. types of mean. Horizontal mean, they are within me. Vertical mean, they are between me. Yeah. Hmm? And as yes, they have mean, yes, sir. They have they are various anything there's a mean that's various. And there is grand mean. Yes. If you had all the 32 scenarios together and divide by you know eight times four, is it not 32? Well, and divide yes. by 32 yes, to give you this grand mean. This is grand mean. That's it. Total variance. It will do one that if you now do the variance, this is a total variance variance need. Now I was saying something before the okay. I said something here. I said in repeated measure, the logic here mm -hmm. is that the total variability variance you're looking at, which is the total we you see there now, is divided mm -hmm. into yeah. between and within. The between is the one that is vertical. The within is the one that is horizontal. Does, is it clear? Yes, hmm? sir. Now, yes, the model, the fact, you know, this person is there to perform experiment. The fact of yes. the experiment is performing is within, it's not between. Because they want to see how the different insects oh, affect. Does it make sense now? Oh, how the different insects affect oh, resin for people. And it's one person that take all the different insects. So the effect of your experiment is with the unlike the independent. If it is the, the independent factorial ANOVA, now it's between the model. The 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 the, the, the effect is in between. You understand now? But the effect of the experiment is within individual. Does it make sense now? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh -huh. Now. So when we now come to this table now, you have already know that horizontal is within, vertical is between. When we now come, this first table, there are two tables here that calculate. The first one, it calculate for total and also calculate for within. And now we move and now have residual. Yes, I'm now. So if this one now, the first two column is looking at X bar, grand mean minus. Uh, so what should I use? Is this on that We're slide you're showing table, already? I'm not showing you. Oh, we are, you are not seeing? You are not showing you those. Uh, no, I, I thought I was showing it before. I thought you were seeing it before. No, no. Uh, all this one I've been talking, I didn't share. No, the second one. Uh, you, no, I think you moved to another... You moved to another... Another graph. No, it's not graph. The, is the, can you see now? Can you see? We can see the table. Uh -huh. Can I see the Sorry. table? I'm coming. Uh -huh. This is one that... Yeah. Now... <laughs> so, what this one does... Hmm? Is to remove the first yes. one is calculated total. You remove gramming because double bar. You no, know, the S says by S. You don't put another bar on it. That, that double bar is yes. gramming. You're removing the gram mean, which is gramming for when you had all the 32 divided by 32. It's removing the gram yes. mean from individual value. It's calculated yes. the total sum of square here down here. Mm -hmm. 
So the total sum of square for this data is 253.78752. But if you look at this next two column, if you look at it, double bar minus bar is removing yes. the, the gram mean from the horizontal mean. Yes, I mean the within group mean. I don't know if you understand. Mean. The within. Yes. yes. The within the one that along the horizontal. If you look at it, if you count it, are they not four foot? Mm. They are four mm. foot now. If you look at it, one, 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 one. That's for eight of them. Mm. Okay. Two, 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 for eight of them. Three, 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 for eight or four, four, four. So they are what four, do you not call this one? Because this will be very conflicted. Because this is within the person. Exactly. This is the within. But meanwhile, person. it's it's looking like a between. Uh -huh. It's yeah. within. So. Then this one now look at the the difference between the grand mean and um, uh, what do I call it is is individual value rather and the within. and the within within individual value in the in the within mean and the value involved. Do you get it now? Yes. Yes. So that this table, the next table, this table two is similar. So, but it's not it's different from the other one now this one now so, so what will you call this middle one will you still call it within within we don't okay thank you that was what where we were using the word model yes i'm not that's why we now call oh, okay. this one anything the the model you are for you call it model the one you are interested in if, for this case now is this mm -hmm. one we are calling model this one this for the first table because we have already said the model, the experimental model is within. Yes, I'm not. So the difference between the gram mean and the mean for each person is the model. Yes, okay. I'm not. Okay. Yes. See, yes, I'm not. <laughs> so do, this yes. is the residual. When you now go to the next table, this one now, what is, if you look at it, one to 35, you, are, you see one, 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 they are up to. Eight, if you look at it now, one, 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 two, 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 three, up to eight. This is for yes. Can you see now? So this one is looking at the the if you remember the vertical one. Yes. <laughs> so if you look at it, there are eight of them. You know there are eight of them. So now mm -hmm. when you remove Grammy from uh, individual value. If you look at it, it will give you the same thing. If you look at the former one, it's the same. Because grant me from individual value, give you the same. Yeah. Does it make sense now? Or is it confused? Oh, confuse me a little bit. Because I understand this table, but so you're you saying know, that it's, you know, it's you know, the forget same forget with which table. one? Forget about the table. They're forget about the table now. What okay? What well, okay? You know what? We are not even going to run it. Don't worry. What I just want you to okay. know here later, you know, is bit by bit. Yes. Maybe in another one, we we'll do another training, or as you assimilate, if you by the time you assimilate the other one, later you get to yes. easy to do, you get to understand. But just know okay. what you be in your back of your mind is that for the repeated measure, the effect of the what you yes. is within, it's not between. Okay, okay, yes, I understand that yeah. one. Why well, you just know that one? Let's just close there. Because me, I don't like it. Because I don't want something that will go and spoil you, now confuse you. You, you cannot... No, 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 I even understood. I totally understood the whole explanation. It was when you now said it was, that it is now the same which I wanted to know the same with which one. No, what that okay. first column and that one, that's that is very simple. Day. Look at look at these two tables. The first table, okay. look at this total sum, total sum of square. Two, yes. Three point okay. eight seven five two. Seen two the second table is not five, the same. It's the same now. Is I'm seeing two five repeat. three points. What we are saying that uh, the grand mean is the same for all of them. But when you are talking yes, about it is. the group mean. Are you talking of within or you are going of between? See your examiner. Yes. That was why the grammy is the same. That's why the 
when you are both of them, the total overall mean is the same. Because one table is addressing vertical, another table is addressing horizontal. Horizontal. Mm -hmm. okay. Don't leave it like that. Just any other question, let's just close here. Because uh, I'm sure now people that have come by you should know it better now than last week. Especially people that came back. Uh, uh, okay. So, sorry, sir. So you okay. said uh, so is that for independent groups, mm -hmm. uh, our interest is in the between. Yes. But for this, our uh, interest is in the within. Yes, exactly. Uh, okay. Thank you, sir. You know, I when understand. you are doing an experiment, the, when you do, you do the same thing, the same thing for, uh, different thing for the same set of people. What you are looking at, you want to see, is there any difference in the effect of this thing on that same person? Yes, I mean now. So, okay, any other one? Yes, I understand. Thank you. Okay, well done, sir. Any other one? Uh, Dr. Taiwo, how is it? It's fine, sir. Okay. It's, fine. Is, it's better, right? Yes. But you have not been running with us, so you have only been sharing with us. Hope you are practicing. Hey, the, um, I've not got him. Uh, I've not downloaded all some of this because my computer. It's not yet okay. Okay. Okay, no problem. All of them are more if you go back and uh, because later I will still share the slide also and the all those the video and the module they are there. If even sometimes uh, you want to analyze something you have not analyzed, you just check the step and just run it. That's what we do. You there's always the first day of doing something. And we just we, what we do is also just to read about it and look up how do we do it as well. Before you know it, I begin to get insight into it. That's just the logic. So, but the problem is you need to practice it. If you don't practice it, you know. Yes. In fact, what you know, you forget. Okay, I think we can close. Please, I find yes, the sir. video. Yeah, please, I didn't find the video. Try and send it to me again. I will send. I will resend. No, I will send. Yes, I will even send thank you, this one also. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay, sir. Thank you. Sir. Good night, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Good night, sir. Good night. 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 Good night.